ESPN Radio, your station for up-to-the-minute news, intelligent, interactive, and engaging conversation. 96.9 FM. The views and opinions of the hosts and guests are their own and do not necessarily reflect the position of the management and staff of Guardian Network. The aftermath of every social revolution brings about change. Cultural norms and landmarks shift as our minds and hearts expand beyond the familiar. To everything, there is a season and a time to every purpose in the land of the living. This is our time to renew, revive, and restore the hope lost to the busyness of life. This is our time to dig again and rebuild from the storms of our past on a solid footing that holds. Welcome to the foundation. The foundation. The Foundation of Heart Grant is brought to you by Alive, Burger King, Commonwealth Bank, The Deposit Insurance Corporation, Grand Bahama News, The Ministry of Health and Wellness, Popeyes, and Ron's Electric Motors. The Foundation. Rockin' the nation, Howard Grant's the host, got in radio station, 96 bright night, drive to two, it's the time, you can call the show or use the text line, yeah, he educate, he informs, he goes against the norm, he's really got that zeal, plus, he's a child of God, foundation, oh, it's the foundation, oh, foundation, oh, it's the foundation, Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, 96.9 FM radio, Howard Grant in your company, the foundation on this absolutely gorgeous Thursday afternoon, live and in full effect here in the land of the living. Someone slap yourself in the chest. It is bananas and an absolutely gorgeous day. I'm so grateful to be here with you above ground. Someone talk to me. I mean, I feel like we've been talking about death relentlessly over the past week and some. Um... <laughs> Can we, can we ask for a little break? Uh, this is crazy. This morning, make sure you pick up your Guardian newspaper. I know it's midday, but you guys should have your papers already and have this information down packed. Call uh, your flight person, your travel personnel to get yourself in Grand Bahama for October 13th. Pick up your Guardian newspaper. And you'll be able to see that West End Burial for Obi Wilskum funeral set for October 13th. The information's in the papers. Also, Mitchell promises West Grand Bahama Bimini a suitable candidate. A, a candidate, a suitable candidate. Uh, shouts out to Bahamas Harvest Church on it and hard work of nurses yesterday by treating nurses from Princess Margaret Hospital and Sanders Rehabilitation Center and Rand Memorial Hospital to a luncheon. Uh, shouts out to Pastor Mario Moxie and all those persons over at the Bahamas Harvest Church being able to do a great deal of things, man. And another fentanyl death. Make sure you pick up your newspapers. But as we pick the papers up this morning, we feel a little girthy, a little thick. Uh, we know at the very forefront is about Obadiah Wilshkum, his passing and the relentless um, uh, tributes that continue to be able to come in. But more specifically, if we take a little dive deeper, I got a call yesterday. He says, Howard, you know, Obi's death has overshadowed a great deal of things. I say that Obi's death has stopped a great deal of things in terms of productivity in the country. Yeah, but some other persons have passed away too. This is our time. We always can be able to identify that and really be able to see that. So I want you to be able to, to look at your obituary section and kind of go through it. And uh, if you're one of the persons who's, who's kind of, uh, you know, reeling and uh, grappling with the death of a loved one in your, in your family or in your organization, uh, like us here at uh, Guardian, continue to be able to deal with Steve Hoy and his death, being able to have a tribute for him. If you're dealing with any level of transition, uh, I always tell you, make sure you reach out to my good and decent family. I adopted these people over at Butler's Funeral Homes and Crematorium. Uh, they can be able to put your person down with style, with class, with panace. The sort of posture and position that they carried in life can be captured and emulated while they're being able to transition in their last moment as we celebrate them. So... We want you to be able to go down to Butler's Funeral Homes and Crematorium 
and uh, you know get them get that straight. They can be able to assist you with that if you're dealing with transition. Uh, make sure you go to Milo B. Butler and Sons as it relates to getting yourself one of those packages. They got some great protein packages down there at Milo B. Butler and Sons. My guy, Alan Butler, he just celebrated a birthday the other day. So happy birthday to him. Uh, he'd be more than happy to assist you right there on Blue Hill Road. When you headed north on Blue Hill Road on the eastern side, you'll be able to see that right there. I think it's close to Wesley Methodist Church. You can be able to get something set up for you real good. He has a great deal of packages. Please let them know that Howard Grant and the Foundation sent you over. And last but definitely not least, AFS Insurance. As we creep to the end of the month, and all you persons who are working with, uh, who's working for the government, and you're going to be getting paid today. Today is payday. Yeah, September 28th, two days before the end of the month. You guys are getting paid today. Don't wild out with your money. Don't go buy zebra and camel and everything, ostrich, egg. You want to eat that for breakfast. You don't want a regular chicken no more. You get paid now. You're wilding out. Uh, for all those persons who are going to be celebrating a birthday in October, get yourself insured. Get your cars insured. Get your things taken care of. And make sure you do so with style, pizzazz. And go over to my good friends over at AFS Insurance Agents and Brokers right there on Blue Hill Road South. 407 Blue Hill Road is also east of the Golden Gate Shopping Center. He'll be more than happy to assist you. Operation Operation um, Secure City is on the move. Operation Secure I see the government. The, the, I could be wrong. I could have been, I don't know, my eye. I don't know. But did the police tow your car? This is bananas. You all need to get yourself in short. Get off the people road if you're not prepared. Operation Secure City is in full effect. We just reached out to Chief Superintendent uh, Skippings this morning to see if she want to be able to talk about that. But I see that they're doing a, a great deal of things. Y'all don't hate the police. Let them do their job. You do your job also. Reach out to AFS Insurance uh, Agents and Brokers. They'd be more than happy to assist you getting yourself prepared to be decent on the road. If you ain't got the proper tires, I got people you could call for that. Unique Motors, right? <laughs> if you ain't got headlights, I got people you could call for that also. So just let me know where you are, what you need, and I got people who provide you great discounts for that. All right, so everything's out of the way. Let's be able to do that. Now, listen, um, I don't know about y'all. I do self-care. I, I try to do a little self-care. I need to go to the gym also. I think people need to say, that. stop, right? Stop, stop, stop. I say, well, how do you need to stop it, right? <laughs> But I, I, uh, my foot was a little hard the other day. I don't know. I was in the cover. I tried to rub it on my wife. I almost cut her. I said, Jesus, baby, you all right? <laughs> the covers was all tear up. I said, my God, I can need a little pedicure, right? So she said, I don't know. Well, my wife, she, she a part of this little group. So she gave me a name of someone. And she says to me, now, this gentleman, he can, he, he's a man now. So I said, okay. So she say, he's a man who can give you a pedicure. She keeps telling me this. So I said, baby doll, I don't care if it's a man or a monkey. Can he do the thing right? And plus, I would like a fella to give me, because I don't want no light scrub. I can need a deep scrub. So she said, all right, here's the name. Boom. She gave me um, Ross's number. Well, actually, she didn't give me his number, because I walked in the shop. He didn't know who I was. She tried to give me these instructions. She had all her friends take pictures and everything like that. We finally got there. Um, uh, I can't remember the road I was on. I'm sure he's going to tell us right now. To the Queen Treatment, ladies and gentlemen, I want to introduce you to Ross Colby, who is here with us to be able to talk about uh, the great job he does because my wife just actually got her nails done also. Talk to them about what you do, why you do it, and introduce yourself to the country. Go ahead. Uh, good afternoon, Mr. Grant. Um, like you said, my name is Ross Colby. My full name is actually Rossano AJK Colby the second. So those people who know me, they know who. Your daddy I am. tell you say that anymore. Make sure you say your whole name. Right, right, right. Because if anybody calling me Junior, <laughs> no, no. we ain't doing that. We ain't doing that. That could be a problem. So, so yeah, um, I'm a male nail tech from the Bahamas, and I've been in the beauty industry for about two and a half years now. I've been interested in it from high school. Uh, the reason why I didn't take it in high school is because um, the school that I was to, they you couldn't take you couldn't do nails without doing hair, and I wasn't interested in doing hair, so that's I kind of turned me away from it. Mm -hmm. But and then I left school. Life happened, you know. You tend to have to pay for these things on your own. So as when I was able to do so, 
Mm-hmm. I did that. I went and I got certified. Well, before I got certified, let me say that there was a lot of self teaching in process. I know a lot of people are dirty, self taught. You know, they'd go to YouTube and this, that, and the next thing. But um, I did self teach. And b- b- before I took any actual clients, I went and I got certified. And since then, it's been pretty good. It's been Where did this come from? Because you and I spoke when you was doing my nails. I say mm. the sense and sort of the feel, the vibe in there reminds me of my mother and my aunt. Yes, you said For that. For years, they've been doing this in mm-hmm. Grand Bahama and Mar Rock. So I grew up with knowing how acrylic and all these things smell. Mm-hmm. So when I got in there, the first thing I asked myself, because I, I, I was in there, mm-hmm. but, you know, I really didn't come for mummy them or come for the nails. Right. Uh, all the women used to bring their daughters. Of course. Okay, praise God. I just want to be very clear. I wasn't married yet. <laughs> I wasn't married yet. This is right. very clear. Right, right. So I was always in the shop. Right. right. So when I saw you doing it, right, uh, I said, I wonder how he got into this. Mm-hmm. And so you and I talked about that. You had this sort of a desire to do this for a long time. Yes, for, That's for, heavy. for, for quite a time. Quite a time. Quite That's a time. heavy. <laughs> Talk to me about, I mean, so because, you know, a lot of people would pursue money, but not necessarily a gift. Mm-hmm. You are truly gifted in this. Can I say that is okay? Yeah, you can right? say that. Because okay, yeah. people feel like, you know, but, but you're gifted in this because I was comfortable. Right? Mm-hmm. You didn't make me uncomfortable at mm-hmm. all. Right? It's uh, the shop that you were in. Um, you know, I don't always travail in these spaces where I believe that there is predominantly women. Right. Because I'm going to get in these kind of conversations. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you're, you're it correct. Was, it was very professional mm. in your space. You didn't have the chatter where people is be talking about you. It was a professional space. Mm-hmm. You gave a professional service. I try and to. I want to introduce people to that. Talk to them about that. Well, I do try to provide an, an experience for, for my clients. And when people come to me, I, well, first off, when I got into this, I tried to pay close attention to what are the negative parts. What what hap- what what's the bad parts of what happens when a client goes to the nail tech, and that includes the people getting cut, people getting burned, you know, so from like gel in under UV light and stuff like that. Yeah. And I said one to, time I say, "Ouch." Yeah. Right. Yeah. My so, auntie always got people say, "Ouch." And then choke it, baby. And then there there are, there are, and I, I guess they're putting some tools right now, but there are a lot of nail techs so there who are roughing up their clients, yeah. and, and it's unnecessary. Like yeah. you don't necessarily have to do that. So I focus on I focus on those things, and then. I I I, I want to say I can't really want to say toot my own horn here, but I'm a, I'm a I like conversation. Yeah. So you are truly engaging when you did your thing. Yeah. I feel like that contributes to the experience as well. So with me being gentle, me not hurting, and then me having good conversation, it provides a, a certain I want to say ambiance for my clients when they come to see me. I can ask you a question and get in your business quick, and then come right back. Go up. right here. Okay. So uh, how y- you married? Yes, sir. I you am married. Married for. Since 20... You need to stop. You need to be quicker than this. Because your wife listened to you. I've been married for about 11 years. 11 years. Yes. What did your wife say when you were prepared to kind of get into this industry? Oh, she was all for it. My wife's interested in nails too. She actually does nails as well. Really? Yeah, part-time though. She does because she has a full-time job. She does nails part-time like in the evenings if she has... But you hotter than her. She ain't you can tell her that. No, I, I wouldn't say that. I wouldn't say that. She she does compliment me quite a bit. She builds me up pretty. I, I will call her. You know, but she, she does awesome work though. Yeah. She, she's, she's very good at what she does. This is... Um, it goes against the grain of what we see. And I always like to kind of support small businesses. I always kind of support those persons who I see continue to be able to make a, a, a step towards it. You and I talked about this, mm-hmm. right? I talked to you about it. Yes, yes. But when I saw you in church, let me just be as decent as possible. <laughs> I said, oh, this, this is my guy to come on the show with you. <laughs> He's a decent man. Right. you got a beautiful family. You're doing these things. Thank and you're you. And pursuing the passion that you love. Tell everybody about the Queen Treatment, where they can find you in the numbers. Well, the Queen Treatment is located on a beauty parlor on Palm Beach Street. The beauty parlor his name is Bra Boss. We're actually right next door to Radiator Specialist, if anybody knows where that is. And my contact numbers are 426-8588. That's 426-8588. Or you can reach my wife, who is also a part of management of Green Treatment. Her number is 376-8588. And you can reach both of us. Or if you can't reach me, you can call her and then you get me anyway. 376-8588. That's mm. your wife. And 426-8588. And 426-8588. Yes. That's you. The Queen Treatment, where's it located again? Palm Beach Street, uh, right next door to Radiator Specialist. It, it's a two-story olive green building. It has Brow Boss across the front. Okay. Uh, Palm Beach Street. All right? Yes. Now, listen, ladies and gentlemen, it's a beautiful environment. I might as well tell you, you know that I take the time out to really amplify these spaces that I go to. 
Now, you see, I wouldn't be sitting with Ian. I could always tell you I'm travailing. I'm up and down the city. I like small business. I like to be able to identify people who have passion for this. I really wish some people would engage me. Call me as a consultant to tell you how to do customer service. I mean, come on. Come on. But I like to be able to see people who are making significant strive. And I want to be able to say to you that Ross is the boss in these particular spaces. He's really doing well. It's the Queen, the Queen Treatment on Palm Beach Street. Make sure you give him a call today. Do that. And in, in decency and order, you have to up, make an appointment. Right. Let people know that how they, be able, they go through a proper app. He has everything laid out to make your appointment. And once you can be able to make your appointment, you're registered, you're, you're in there, you can go in there and get some stuff done. Now, listen, I tell you, I come from these people. I know a nice looking set of nails. I like things like this on women, right? And, and like curly hair, my, my wife did that. <laughs> when me and my wife first get together, my mom used to do her hair every single night. Oh, really? But as, a, as a child, right. she would curl her hair every night. Me and my wife first get together, she'd mm. go in the bed with her hair in one. So I said, <laughs> I said baby, you can curl your hair. She no. said, let me tell you something, I ain't your ma, eh? <laughs> She said, I ain't your ma, eh? uh-huh. So I knew about these things. Right. You did her nails the other day. It's absolutely gorgeous, my brother. Thank I you. Thank you. Thank you. For being able to do those things. Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen also, listen to me. If you foot hard and you, listen, we could see the cracks in your mm, slippers when mm, you go and buy mm-hmm. your coffee on Saturday morning. Be mm. decent. Mm-hmm. Be decent. My God, there's a different, we in a jubilee year. Get your feet done. Don't, you want me in back in the time, you ain't got to go on the beach and rub your foot on the <laughs> rock. Go down <laughs> to the green tree to get this particular thing done. Ross will take care of you. 426-8588. Call his wife, 376-8588. This is professional service at its absolute best. You're supporting small business. You're doing all these things. Ross, my brother, I thank you so very kindly. You got a website. You got anything else? Uh, any place where persons could be able to see what you've done? Well, they can find me on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. I have those. I'm on those three socials. On so my is Ross it just the queen treatment? Yes, yeah, just the queen treatment. The queen treatment, uh, Instagram. Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. Instagram, Facebook, TikTok. Yes. The Queen Treatment. The you can Queen be able Treatment. To see all the stuff that he's done. My brother, I thank you so very kindly for sitting with us. Thank you very I much for having me. You get a lot of business now. <laughs> you get a lot of foots coming in there. It's very much Guys, appreciated. Walk through the doors and make those things happen. That's none other than Ross. The numbers one more time before you get out of here 426 8588. 426-8588 or give him a call 376-8588 on Palm Beach Street. The Queen Treatment right here. We're so happy to have you on the foundation, my brother. I appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you. Check it out. And I come back again now. You better. I, I come back again. That's you better. very clear. You're my client I, now. I, I come back before I go to China. I get to the channel. I, I heard. I okay, heard. I come back before I go to China. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, that's the uh, that first segment. We got Bishop coming up next with Ross here. And we can give you the numbers before we get out of here at the end of the show, all right? Let's take this quick commercial break and be right back after this. I am a small business and work hard what I do. And if you're kind enough to try me, I'll work hard for you. I am a small business and work hard what I do. And if you're kind enough to try me, I'll work hard for you. I am a small business and work hard what I do. And if you're kind enough to try me, I'll work hard for you. The Foundation will be back. Right after this. The foundation. The foundation. The foundation. It's Whopper Wednesday every Wednesday at Burger King Nassau. Make your Wednesday sizzle and sink your teeth into a flame grilled beef patty topped with tomatoes, fresh cut lettuce, mayo, pickles, ketchup, and sliced onions, all on a toasted sesame seed bun with fries for only five dollars and ninety-five cents, including vegetables. This Whopper Wednesday, grab a friend and head down to your favorite BK Nassau location for a flame-grilled Whopper made your way with crisp fries for only $5.95. Burger King Nassau, where taste is king. At Ron's Electric Motors, they repair and rewind all major brands of electric motors, including water pumps, generators, and the generator's back end, welding machines, electric lifts, air compressors, battery chargers, and more. They equipped to handle up to 850 kilowatts and rewind up to 450. 50 horsepower motors. They're conveniently located on the corner of Wolf and Clarence Roads and are open weekdays 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Saturdays till noon. They offer 24 hours emergency assistance. You can reach them at 
242-356-0249. Guardian Radio and the Foundation are on the move. Bahamas, this one's for you. SBT. Small Business Thursdays. Every Thursday, the Foundation with Howard Grant will highlight small businesses throughout the country, far and wide. Your products, services, prices, and personality. We want to hear it all. Get your 30 or 60 second advertisement heard on air at a fraction of the cost. We here at the Foundation understand the times and don't want you to be left behind. With Guardian Radio, you reach your specific demographic and it is unmatched. We reach thousands daily. Get your products off the shelf and your services in the their hearts. Small Business Thursdays with the Foundation only on Guardian Radio 96.9 FM. For more information, call 302-2300 or the Help Me Howard line at 827-0111. SBT. Small Business Thursdays. Get your business moving today. This is Guardian Radio 96.9 FM. Fresh news, smart talk, all day. Foundation. Foundation. The foundation. The foundation. And we are back, ladies and gentlemen, 96.9 FM Radio. Howard Grant and your company, the foundation. On this absolutely gorgeous Thursday afternoon, live and in full effect, Small Business Thursday, always being able to identify, amplify, and supply uh, small businesses with opportunities to bring their voices, service, and packages to the general public, to the thousands and thousands that listen to us every single day. If you want to be a part of small business, please give me a call, 827 Now, listen to me. In the space of decency and order, I'm only taking this this call, because I love this man. I won't be decent as possible. But I wanted him to be in the studio with me. But I'm not going to fight him. You see how I couldn't make it today. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing none other than the absolute greatest. Talk to me. He's my friend. My personal friend. <laughs> other than Bishop Lawrence Rule. Bishop, what's up my brother? Howard, what's up? Now, you know you my real, real friend for 2020. Praise God. The, corona, the coronavirus has drawn me and you so close. Praise God. Get to know you to be such a generous, general young man, generous and a general, a real Bahamian man. Praise God. Howard Grant. Praise God, Bishop. I like this. Yeah. Yes. Now, talk to me, Bishop. You're, you're getting down to TI and doing some stuff. But I know that you have a little concert going on. Tell me about the little concert that you got going on. Yes, I have a concert going on, a concert we already planned, and we appreciate God for those who are getting involved. You know, we get the ministers involved. And it's the inner city the concert. We're trying to put this concert on, too. So we'll be able to feed the many less fortunate persons that come around here. We lost a great soldier, which is the owner rebel Obi Whitcomb, and we have done so much for even this area. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And as we have this concert coming up on the 8th of October mm -hmm. at the former Dr. Miles Monroe Church, the Diplomat Center, Carmichael Road, mm -hmm. doors open at 4 o'clock. Mm -hmm. Doors open 4 o'clock. That concert began at at least 4.30. Mm -hmm. It's a major concert. Bishop Simeon, out and from out of Freeport, Grand Bahama, is going to be here. Bishop, I hear you say Bishop Simeon, out right? Yeah. Okay, because he just got ordained. Okay, please go ahead. He's a bishop. Yes, he's a bishop. Yes, he's yeah. a bishop. That's my good friend. Yeah, so, uh, guesses that are going to be there, we really appreciate them that are going to be there. We have, we have what you call a coupon uh, from uh, Bamboo Shack. Mm -hmm. We have Kentucky Vultures. Mm -hmm. We have Gas Vultures, Wheat Vultures. Of course, we're going to get some grocery Vultures. The, the people is going to be blessed, but on that evening, they're going to be giving out a lot of Vultures. Uh, Bishop, I don't think the people want vultures. They like some vultures, but I can imagine. Yeah, praise yeah, God. Because we, we're not going to be, 
the the, 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 the coupons will be able to last at least up to one year. Okay. So let me tell you something. The inner city ch- children, they are we got we got their 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 children meals from from Kentucky fried chicken, and it's going to be a whole lot of giveaway in that concert. You say October eighth. So now you yeah. give me one person singing, Bishop singing. Uh, Bishop Simeon Horn is going to be singing. Who else you got on the, on, on the ticket? Bishop Simeon Alton. On Bishop See, Simeon Alton, sorry. I already call, of course, you know, confirming with my police band, my police pop band. Oh, okay. And of course, they're my people. You don't know that I'm a part of the world. Yeah, I know. The greatest <laughs> organization, <laughs> NADI. I know, Bishop. I know. Yes, Commissioner Fernanda and my good friend, Odelavo. What a gent. What a Gentleman. Yes, yes, yes. He, 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 he was he was like an angel. Keep on, Bishop. Don't quit, Bishop. I said, I look you. When I go on the first day, the next day I was by headquarters, I quit. Mm-hmm. Man, let me tell you something. He was like an angel. That Mr. Delavo and Fernanda, they are two angels. Boy, Bishop, I can tell you the truth. You really are a, a breath of fresh air and sort of a revival, renewing. Uh, to look at the Royal Bahamas Police Force, to know that they're open to such gems in the community, that they yeah. extended themselves to you, and that you took on the opportunity to be able to represent them with such pride and posture. You're good, man. Yeah. We love you. Great organization. We love Great you. organization. It's a disciplined organization. I don't care what people talk about my police force. Mm-hmm. My police force are some of the greatest people. What inspired me when I went up in there on the strictness, it's because the, the body, the church, began to lose some kind of flavor. And when I see the strictness, look ya, I just love it. Mm-hmm. So I inspired the young people, man, you gotta get up in there. Look ya, they discipline, you know. Real, real people. Yeah. That put their lives on the line for this country. Yeah. Commissioner Fernanda, great, great man. Yeah. Delavo, Commissioner Delavo, oh my God. You got some people up in there, they push me, they encourage me, don't even talk about it. I see some pictures here, you were soaking wet. They had you go and try. <laughs> <laughs> I see some pictures, I say, look at Bishop Bob. It, 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 what you call it, in, in Inspector Butler? Yeah. Oh, Lord Jesus. Let me tell you some of my squaddies. And the thing about it, so much of them is coming up me work. Yeah. Because right now we reach up to at least about 2,000 people a week. Yeah. Student people. Well, Bishop, I can be honest with you. During the pandemic, I remember you was feeding almost 1,000 people or more a day, a day, a day, a day. A day. They said that blew my mind. Bishop, that blew my mind. I could see a thousand people show up every single day That's during this right. time. And we never get discouraged. No, I, I just pray that the Father keep blessing you. Yeah, Bishop, use a decent the Prime man. Minister. Yeah. The Prime Minister, the Honorable Brave Davis, is such a blessing. You know, we thank God for their 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 contribution that they have donated to us. They have feed the massive of people. But this feeding program, I mean, Mr. Grant, is like nearly a, a 10 grand, nearly a week. And so to those that is out there and would love to support us within this concert that are coming up on the 8th is because, you know, with me, my hands are involved with feeding at least 2,000 people a week right now. So they can call those who would love to donate. They can call 821-9455. You know, that's, you know, Real talk, no monkey now. <laughs> no, it's the truth. Eight two one nine four five five. You guys call it because Bishop people are, are looking for ways now. A lot of people don't necessarily commit themselves to a church, but they commit themselves to the faith and to the word that says yeah. that the least that you do for these, you do for me. That's principle, Bishop. Talk to me. That's real talk. It is real. The church. We have to pray for the body of Jesus Christ. The church have a little different standard, but as we continue to teach the word of the Lord, we'll pick back. And what I love, there's a lot of young, talented, young persons that are now coming into the church, which are doing good, 
The Lord didn't call us to condemn. I don't want to be one of them to condemn. No. But it, it's a great time to be alive. You yeah. see, so much young leaders are doing so good. Great, great, awesome men of God that so can teach. We got great teachers in the land. Dr. Miles Monroe is gone, but we have great, great teachers. People like, 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 like Dr. Moxie. Oh, I just love his teaching. His teaching is in, inspire, it, it, it really inspired people. Yeah. Christian Counselor, Dr. Liver O. Howard, the Christian Counselor, Fernanda, my good friend, delivered mm-hmm. such a message to the 50th anniversary. If we go up along with the message that he has delivered, this will be a great, great, great place. That man preached. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That man preached in the 50th. Are you going to have any preaching to the concert? Is there anybody going to be a guest speaker or are we going song after song and having a jam? Well, no, um, we got people, we need prayers. My, there's a young man, Bishop Neil Ellis, young pastor, Ricardo, Mon- Ricardo Monco. Uh, Ricino? Yeah, okay, he's a young God. man and, you know, he could have been doing something else. Mm-hmm. He's a brilliant, brilliant young man and, and I'm going to try to reach it to, your, to, 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 to Pastor Moxie also because he's one of them that helped feed the people here also. He have done great. But a young man like Ricardo, 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 huh? Marco, R- Ricardo. He's going to speak and he's going to pray for the people. Okay. I like this, Bishop. I like this. Yeah. I like this. On October 8th, we want all hands on deck to be able to support for the entire all, place all now. Roads, now I, watch me. You are in the right space and place now, Bishop. I might as well tell you the truth because this is a space where people know that we won't give back to the community. There ain't no politics, nothing involved. This is just people, yes, people sir. who want to be able so to give back to the community. You, you, you know the work. You come along and that's why I call you a general. You are a great, great young man and and I can remember you had, you opened up your yourself and you helped you come and you see the work that are happening here in Second Street to Grove. You know, this ain't no, 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 no kind of, you know, kind of phony no. fairy tale no. or something like that. No. It is real. Yeah, it is. It is real. You touch me, Bishop, and anything I can do to be able to support you, whenever you call, I'm there with whatever is available to me to reach the thousands of cuz you you only think you got thousands on your on your life. Good morning to the thousands of excuse me bishop. We got thousands of people also. <laughs> Let's just be very clear about this. Right? Howard, Howard, Howard. <laughs> Let's go that right. But so, so anything I can do bishop. That's, that's, that's so much people love you. You really are a great young man and Praise I pray God. God that the Lord would expand you. You are a great young man. And we must appreciate greatness. You know what I mean? I That's appreciate the you, Bishop. Man that the Lord has taken. The, I want you to say one or two words before we get out of here about Obi Wolchkin. His service to country has been phenomenal. I know some people are indifferent with his politics, but I feel like his service no, uh, is consistent. Too. Yeah, it's undeniable. You, you know, I think if you're going to talk anything, you should talk it while you were living. He visited our church, and you know what I tell the people? I said, get up and respect him and honor him because. You can't just love my cassava bread or my potato bread, and then you don't love the man where the money comes from. He has been a great son, you know. One thing we could say about him, let's move from, if we move from the politics, the thing about it is when you meet Obi, you know, the honorable Obi, always smiling, always happy. This man never complains. Real talk. Put mm-hmm. the, poli- the, the, the politics on the side. Always friendly, always talking with you, always smiling with you. You never know if this man had a problem. Real, real talk. And today you don't really find that. You find people, oh, my light off, this happening, the other thing happening. Yeah. Not Obi Witchka. No. Obi was always happy. Yeah, yeah. But that's his posture, though, know, Bishop. This man was a statesman. He knew that whenever he step outside, that he's on, that he has a responsibility to show good posture and deal with people right where they are. There are many and people. He was a brain boxer, very intelligent. Money, he very intelligent, very articulate. Intelligent yeah, yeah, yeah. Friendly. Yeah. You know, friendly. We buck at Bishop Neil Ellis, and uh, we saw him, and I said, look here. I said, now, I try to lose weight. 
but the food on the plate talking. <laughs> Bishop, that's you know that's that's Bishop Bella's good friend. Down to eight man. That's Bishop Bella's good friend. Yeah, they've been friends for years. Kobe was a great man, and there are many other great men in the country, such as yourself as a young man. And we would say to the young to the young men of this of this country, it's time for the men them to rise up, and women. This is our country, and that's why I, I was delighted to go on the police force. You know, yes, and I'm sure. there, and I work around the courthouse. I go in, spend one hour to two, and then I be gone. But this is our country, and we need to rise up and take control of our country I like in this, positiveness. Yes, yes, not negative. No, positive. Yes, and if the positive crew don't rise up, then the negative crew is going to take over. My God, I like what you do. Have a part to play. I like this bishop, and you, all of us have a part to play. You're, you're a great man. We pray God you right. You know, you're a great man. <laughs> yeah, because I know when you get me, you need to stop it right there, bishop. Ah, right? let me stop. <laughs> <laughs> you need to stop. I was, I was gonna ask you. You're gonna run this. Oh around. Jesus <laughs> God! I tell you, stop, and you're still going. You need to stop it, bishop. <laughs> oh no, if you're a great man, we respect you, Howard. I know in our area. We definitely respect you. You can't keep a good man down. Praise God, Bishop. But I don't know whether or not you're getting the Grand Muhammad for October 13th. For uh, October. October 13th, that's when they're going to be putting um, uh, Obadiah Wilchcombe down. They're going to be putting him down in Grand Mahama at uh, Christ the King Church. So you know Grand oh, Muhammad, oh. it might sink. How much people can be there? That's right, my brother, because he was a great man. I holler so people much. People from all I over. Could, all over. He's a great man. Definitely. That man, always smiling, always happy. He had to have the love of God in him. My God, Bishop. Let's hear what you're saying. But before we get out of here, Bishop, because I know you got to go, but tell me this, because I know you're off tomorrow. So October 8th, 2023, at 4 o'clock p.m., over at the Diplomat Center, you're going to have a concert. What's the, what's the name of your concert? The Blessing of the Lord is Raining. The Blessing of the Lord. Let me write this down. The Blessing yeah, of the, the Lord. The Blessing of the Lord mm -hmm. is Raining. And persons can call to get ticket 8219455. Or come and make a donation, you know. Come and, come and make a donation. Let me tell you something. Businesses are coming together. They're going to be giving out. I think one, one contractor company is going to give out probably a few a flat screen TV. Mm -mm. Uh, let me tell you something. This, this is precious to me. I just love giving. Mm -hmm. This is an so, amazing thing, Nick Bishop. Yeah, I like this. Yes, they're coming together. And people are going to leave with that place being there. Yes. Well, let me let everybody know, Bishop, before you get out of here. So the blessing of the Lord is reigning at the Diplomat Center on October 8th, 2023. The doors are going to be open at 4 p.m. Get in there. This is a concert to benefit the inner city uh, feeding program that Bishop has over on 2nd Street, The Grove. He continues to be able to, the Nation Singing Bishop Feeding Foundation, he continues to be able to feed persons in those areas. If you want to support, if you want to lend a helping hand, there's no question, no doubt where your money's going 8219455 or you can call Howard you know my numbers 8219455 support my good and decent friend Bishop Lawrence Road he is definitely going to be able to continue to feed those persons and we are grateful for his strength and tenacity to keep pushing on in those areas Bishop we love you very much my brother next time you come don't call me on the phone amen thank you sir. I yes. can't get no amen Bishop yeah, thank you, sir. <laughs> you don't call me on the phone. You come in the studio and, and be able to jam with me. I appreciate you, yes, Bishop. Yes, you my friend, and God forever bless you and your radio program. Absolutely, Bishop. Thank you so very kindly. Ladies and gentlemen, that's none other than Bishop Lawrence Roll telling us about the blessings of uh, the Lord is Reigning. The Blessings of the Lord is Reigning uh, concert is going to be on October 8th, 2023. And we're looking for support. And that kind of support is to feed those kids, man. That's just what it is. If you are a corporate company, an organization that wants to lend a helping hand, he's going to be doing some giveaways, stuff like that, just to kind of pull people in. If you want to be able to carry your youth group down there and set this thing up, please do so. Let's participate. 
and become the community that we continue to espouse about, that we continue to be able to theorize about. Let's do that. Let's make this happen today. Give him a call, 821-9455, or, uh, and get yourself prepared for what's going to be happening over on October 8th with none other than Bishop Lawrence Rule. Let me take this quick commercial break and be right back after this. Foundation. This Lord was this great God. Bahamas. Oh my God. What what roll what news this is? Jesus Lord God. Lord have mercy. I'm crying. Oh we need to pray. Bahamas. I tell you all before. We need to pray, 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 pray. The Foundation. The Foundation will be back right after this. The Foundation. The Foundation. The Foundation. Let me ask you a few questions. What's your name? Pam. Favorite food? Steak. Beer or wine? Wine. Is your money safe? Mm. It's under my bed, so I guess so. Are you serious? Yeah, why? Unless your money is in a bank or credit union that's a member of the Deposit Insurance Corporation, there's no guarantee it's safe. Yeah, but what if something happens to the bank? Your Bahamian dollar deposits are insured up to $50,000, so you'd still be ahead. Plus, your mattress might catch fire. Then what? Man, those banks and credit unions are looking good right about now. Visit the DIC's website at www.dic.bs. Protection for your money, guaranteed with DIC. <laughs> Struggling to repay your loan? Let us help you get back on track with payment terms that suit your financial situation and improve your credit score and credit report with the Bahamas Credit Bureau. Inquire about our restructured loans today. Call us at 356-7764. The Grand Bahama News is available every Tuesday in the Nassau Guardian. Buy your local paper at Freeport Convenience Stores, Western Bakery, to Gregory's Fine Foods, and Bellevue Gifts. Want to reach your Grand Bahama customers? Then call Barefoot Marketing at 827-4578 or message them for ad rates via their Facebook page. Advertising opportunities now include classified ads too. Keep up with all the latest Grand Bahama news in the Nassau Guardian newspaper every Tuesday. Guardian Radio and the Foundation are on the move. Bahamas, this one's for you. SBT, Small Business Thursdays. Every Thursday, the Foundation with Howard Grant will highlight small businesses throughout the country, far and wide. Your products, services, prices, and personality. We want to hear it all. Get your 30 or 60 second advertisement heard on air at a fraction of the cost. We here at the Foundation understand the times and don't want you to be left behind. With Guardian Radio, you reach your specific demographic and it is unmatched. We reach thousands daily. Get your products off the shelf and your services in their hearts. Small Business Thursdays with the Foundation only on Guardian Radio 96.9 FM. For more information, call 302-2300 or the Help Me Howard line at 827-0111. SBT. Small Business Thursdays. Get your business moving today. Beulah Gal, can you believe this? We are now the patrol queens of the neighborhood. We now large and in charge. So we need to check out what's going on in everybody's yard. What about that gun that we know that Junior and his homeboys just ran out? Can we report that too? Of course we can. But we could be in deep trouble if they find out. We need to report what we see, Beulah. When you call Crime Stoppers, they just answer your call in Miami. So then we can report everything? Guns? Where they hiding the drugs? Who shoot who? Who part of which gang? Or who disturbing the peace with the loud music? Music and the motorcycles. Then our neighborhood will be the best in the Bahamas. And everybody gonna want to come live here. And then our house price will go up, gal. So what we waiting on? What's the number? If you see something, say something. Let us all pitch in and stop the crime before it's your time. Call 328-8477 from Nassau or 242-300-8477 from the Family Islands. Or text us through the Crack Crime Bahamas app. Stop the crime before it's your time. 
always on the go? Miss the show? You can now listen to Guardian Radio talk shows anytime, anywhere on Spotify and YouTube by searching Guardian Radio 96.9 FM or by entering the name of your favorite show. You can also listen by logging on to GuardianTalkRadio.com and clicking on the podcast tab. Guardian Radio, continuing to provide you with fresh news and smart talk anywhere, anytime, all day. This is Guardian Radio 96.9 FM, Nassau, Bahamas. Foundation. Foundation. The Foundation. Foundation. And we are back, ladies and gentlemen, 96.9 FM radio. Howard Grant and your company, The Foundation, live and in full effect on this absolutely gorgeous Thursday. It is a Ramstack day. Thursday, we have everything here to actually talk about. Right now, I want to be able to get into a conversation that it's, it's truly interesting to me because uh, we continue to talk here about transparency access, opportunities, growth, development, and that kind of a murky water that exists within the traditional politics. How do we swim out of that to the shore of uh, that kind of a shiny shore, right? <laughs> Watch these PLPs. Now, they need to stop. Uh, <laughs> that shiny shore that actually speaks to growth and development, that's enshrined in our national anthems and the allegiance that we pledge to this country. We often talk about that today. We're identifying and celebrating the International Day of Access to Information. We have none other than the Executive Director, Matthew Aubrey from ORG, here with us, being able to speak about these things. Good afternoon, my brother. How are you doing, man? Good afternoon. Thanks for having us, Howard. It's very good to have you, man. Talk to persons. Let them know who you are, the organization, sure. and uh, some of the objectives what we're being able to do today. Sure. Um, my name is Matthew Aubrey. I'm the executive director for the Organization for Responsible Governance, or you may know us as ORG. Uh, we're a registered Bahamian not-for-profit, and our mission is really the engagement of citizens and the private sector in the process of accountable governance, because in doing so, we foster greater social and economic opportunity for all. And, and so a lot of the work that we'll do is not only looking at are our laws as transparent and accountable and in the public interest as possible, but going into communities and talking to folks about the power that they have, the ability for their voices and their community actions to make a difference in their lives, in their communities, and ultimately in the nation. And then we create spaces, safe spaces, where both government and communities can talk, listen to each other, because when that happens, great opportunities opportunities come from. And we're excited about that. We've uh, been watching what you guys are doing at um, um, ORG for a while, and I have a great deal of friends in there all able to give an opportunity in media to talk about these. I want to know, uh, over the years that you've been, you know, kind of, you know, chipping away at it, the concept of traditional politics in this country, do mm -hmm. you believe that you're making uh, a significant inroad with no, it's sort of the mindset that exists in here. Talk to me about it. Well, I think um, I think we've been doing this for eight years, and I've had the the distinct pleasure of being uh, at the helm for for almost all of that time. Um, and I'm joined with a small but very talented team of young Bahamians that very talented. Have Can been, I say that? Yes, very talented. Very talented. Uh, who have been driving our progress over the last number of years. Uh, we have looked back and and really pay a lot of attention to: Are we moving the needle? Are things changing? And I'm glad to say that, yes, they are. Um, it's slow work. Nation building is no easy work. And your question related to are we making inroads with government in many ways is where we are now, is realizing that government, and by its own admission, can't do it all. No matter what the issues are we're confronted with, whether it be education or slow economic development or uh, making sure that our systems are responsive to, to – our government systems are responsive to people in the community – all of those things, taking care of our communities with disaster preparedness, ensuring that our environment is preserved, all of those things require the partnership of government, the innovation and the economy of the private sector, and the, and the dedication and the oversight and the input of citizens, particularly those that are going to be most affected by government decisions and policies. There has been this sort of an, a looming concept um, socially that the one thing that is missing from a decision to really realign the country in many aspects is conviction in government. 
this mm. kind of a decision making process that the will to make these decisions do you find that or do you find that uh, that kind of uh, the tangle the tangle web right in there in terms of that red tape so political will is required to make decisions but ultimately public will can affect political will. Mm. So left to its own devices, government is going to make decisions that support government. And that doesn't mean that's bad. But if we're not getting the input of citizens, then when government makes decisions or policies or, or, or determines this is the direction, then they're doing so with actually without all the information. So, so helping the, the, the citizens to regain the power and the agency of their voice that must have been in place when we led to majority rules, when we led to uh, independence, and, and has seemed to gone down a bit is part of what we really need to do. So just like if you haven't gone to the gym in a while and all of a sudden you step up and you're going to try and lift that 200 pounds, you, you used to be it. able to lead. You're no. going to hurt yourself and you're less likely to go back So and we do lost it. our muscle memory. Right. So we've got to build that up, but we've got to do it in slow, steady, safe, and meaningful ways. So talking to our citizens in the communities about what is it, what is the obstacles to getting involved? What are the challenges? How do you feel about you having to take action to clean up that, that nasty property in your neighborhood where everybody dumps all their appliances? You yeah. know, why would you have to do that? It's not your property. Yeah. But we all know that there's a collective action that can happen and a collective strength that when that's in place, as you said, that political agenda, that political will, will be much more cognizant. Talk to me about whether or not um, or how much education is uh, needed to be able to push this, this, this sort of an agenda to reform the mindsets that exist there. Because uh, as, as I'm listening, I realize it's, it's tears of education. Mm -hmm. You're going to be able to, you have to hit youth. And mm -hmm. I'm talking about a particular age group from yep. 7 to 14, let's yep. just say hypothetically. Mm -hmm. And then uh, those young adults, that's going to be a different strategy and approach to be able to message. And then there are the older persons who are now stepping out of school, right. who have a determination that they want to be able to do some things and empower themselves. And then this, this, the majority of us who've identified a great deal of things of how things have been in this society, right. who kind of threw the ha their hands up and mm -hmm. say, you know what, it is what it is. Talk to me how you approach each one of those tiers. So what makes us really excited is when people who we believe understand the concepts talk in the same language. So what's so funny is our most recent Active Citizens Bahamas campaign. We've gone out to 10 different islands in all of our communities, over 1,000 people that we've talked to about this concept of getting involved and using yourself to make a difference. We have seven different distinct presentations that are geared towards youth, 7 to 14, our teens, our young professionals, our folks that are, in the, that are more, more seasoned and in the community, media, academics, uh, uh, folks from the business sector. And each of these presentations really drills down to speak to what are the needs and the interests in the areas of these folks. And additional to us going out and talking, a big part of it is listening. So we're right now in the process of not only getting information via surveys on what people feel are the priorities in their areas, their islands, their communities, but also sitting with them in focus groups to listen and understand and hear some of those challenges, but probably more excitingly, what are some of those opportunities? Mm -hmm. We had a really powerful focus group with a, a group we partnered with the UN, the local UN office, mm -hmm. to bring a, a group of seven to eight you know, uh, young, young Bahamians together, and they came really across a wide gamut, some from Family Island, some from NASA, some who had a degree, some who didn't, folks with disabilities, gender was reflected, lots of different perspectives. And I had a chance to sit in and listen to this. And, and they went on for about two hours. But the truth is, they had all the answers. They knew what needed to be done to fix the country. They absolutely did. So the, so the lesson is, we need to get out of the way. We need to let folks who have the ideas and the thoughts and the passion to change the country move through a process where they're not inhibited by bureaucracy, where they don't have limited access to information, where they're not given the space to, to express comfortably their thoughts at a time when it will make a difference. Everybody can play the, the, the Monday morning quarterback, but 
But when we ask people early on, we say, hey, we're going to fix and figure out how we save the mangroves. We're going to fix how we break the, 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 the cycle of violence among our youth. We're going to fix a way that, that people, that women should have the same comfort and rights uh, as men. We got to start when we're, when, we're, when we're in the community. We got to start when, when we're beginning those conversations, not once government has determined it, figured it out, developed legislation, and here's what we're going to do, folks. Do you like it or That's not? That's normally how it is. Right. Yeah, it's, it's, it's uh, incubated uh, the concept, the idea, and, and fleshed out within the confines of government. Right. And if there is social pushback, then the government says, okay, we're going to be able to take this to public consultation. Right. All right. So, so I'd like to know that question before I go on to anything else. I want to know whether or not uh, is there significant government acknowledgement, not for the establishment of your organization over the past eight years, but uh, their offices being able to reach out to you to say that this is a concept that we have mm -hmm. and we want to kind of flesh it out. Can you assist us in these areas? Uh, we have had. We've had the, 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 the distinct pleasure to partner with a number of parts of government, whether it be Ministry of Youth or Ministry of uh, Social Services or uh, Public Health, ho health and Hospitals. Um, the AG's office, uh, the office of the prime minister, and in different ways over the last three subsequent uh, administrations, we've had different opportunities to sit, learn, and offer ideas as well as respond. Um, whether that is totally in line with what government wants or what they see our role to be is always a question, but it has definitely been an indicator that there is this growing trend, and I don't know that we would say it's because of us, I think it's the world, for more information to be gathered. The challenge becomes, and it's one of the reasons we're, we're, we're here today, uh, is the, govern the concept within government that information and, and uh, control is really to be fully maintained within government. This is a concept that comes out of a colonial history. This is how control was leveraged against a, a, a vast majority of folks when a small minority was holding power. So, in our laws, we still have something called the Official Secrets Act, and many countries in the Caribbean still have the Official Secrets Act. But at the same time, we also realize there's a power and a value in transparency and accountability. Every government says it. Most people in the community will talk about it. We want to know what's going on. We want to, but that doesn't happen until there's an enshrined and clear right and legislative structure in place that says you, as the citizen in the Bahamas, have the right to understand how government is spending your money, how government is making despite decisions. Despite the constitution, how despite the preamble, despite yep. the pronouncements of the preamble or the constitution, right. there is still a traditional mindset that says there is a proverbial wall, a right. veil between the people and the government. Right. And that, uh, because, you know, they make these sort of pronouncements to say that, uh, you know, cabinet and that sort of position within cabinet, the confinement of what they do within cabinet in our business. Mm -hmm. But you're saying to us that we need to have access to certain information, not the official secrecies, right. but these informations that the people of the country need to know. This is for me. This is how I can grow. This is how I can develop myself and opportunities that exist here right. that we don't have uh, readily access to. And, and this has been not something new. Uh, it was a, a Freedom of Information Act passed in 2012 that was never fully enacted. Then it was repealed and replaced by a Freedom of Information Act in 2017. And some portions of that have been brought to force, but it still has not yet been fully developed. This is stop for you and cancel that we see so much of. <laughs> well, I think that's, that's part of the challenge, right? But I also think, again, it becomes an interesting time for this to happen. Yeah. So Freedom of Information Acts, when they're passed, they can take three to five years to come to fruition because you have to do a lot within government. You have to retrain folks. You have to build in systems. Very often, systems like we've seen in our, com in our country don't share information easily and well. And so our Freedom of Information Act actually positions a person, an information commissioner, who has the power to oversee this system, ensure that it's putting it's in place and that it moves smoothly. And as citizens ask for information, as is their right, they may be denied from some reason by government. And it and then becomes a place where you can bring it back and say, well, was this decision sound and in the interest of the public, or was government justified, uh, or is government not justified, rather, in holding this information back? Well, again, an indication of growth, we have an information commissioner. We have an, a unit that's been established and a deputy information commissioner, both of whom are very passionate and talented folks looking to move this forward. 
So we're moving slowly, and it doesn't mean that everything is stopped or halted, but is it happening at the rate that it should related to what it brings as benefits to our individuals, to our communities, and to our country, that becomes a question. So let everybody know how they could participate. I know that you've said a, a tremendous mouthful here on the International Day of uh, Information, Access to Information, uh, but let everybody know how they can get uh, involved in the Organization for Responsible Government and being able to see the country move forward because there are people out there listening to us right now. Right. How can I participate? I want to do something. So our, 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 our tagline is always get informed and get involved. And so it's important that you learn and see things for yourself. You can look and read up on the Freedom of Information Act on the orgbahamas.com website. Uh, you can go to the government website and look for it yourself. There's be the same bill and the same information. Um, we also have resources on our Facebook page that we're putting out throughout this week and next that talk about the basics of what is freedom of information? What, what does it mean to you? How can you use it? What are the benefits? So check us out on, on Org Bahamas. Uh, 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 on Facebook, on LinkedIn, on Instagram, and on Twitter, and you'll get more information. So that's part of the get informed. The get involved, though, simply requires that if you believe that freedom of information can bring value, that it can bring more effective government, because just the concept that someone can be looking does choose, does, does determine how comfortable you are to make a certain level of decision, that you should have more information about how government is spending, because it is your money. If you believe Believe these things, then encourage those folks that you would have elected, regardless of party. Tell them, we really want this to be prioritized. We want to make sure that this thing manifests as soon as humanly possible so that we can see the benefits here in our country, so that we can feel the benefits as individuals, and that our communities can reflect a more open and a more transparent place. Okay, so that's LinkedIn. They can be able to catch you on LinkedIn, right? Yeah. LinkedIn, Facebook. Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Okay. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, you have any numbers? Because there are some traditional people. You know what we do with this. Absolutely, right? yes. So give me some numbers. Um, so folks can also email us at info at orgbahamas.com, or you can give us a call at 477-3134. 477-3134. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a very good conversation. And, and, you know, whilst we did this on Small Business Thursday, in uh, recognition for this particular day and this time, I'd like to have a sort of a, a longer conversation with you to kind of dive deeper into some stuff. Absolutely. I see that we're we're in a transitional period right now with the house being prorogued mm -hmm. and uh, identifying how we're going to be able to move with the death of Obadiah Wilshkum yeah. and uh, see the country move forward in these particular instances. There needs to be more information. A lot mm -hmm. of persons need access to information and they need a trusted source, uh, not a politically motivated source that can right. give you a skewed view. They want that neutrality that speaks to national growth and development. And I believe that ORG embodies that. Thank you very so much. So I want to be able to commend you guys uh, over the past eight years. I know you've been doing a wonderful job. Right. We, we, we feel like we have lots more work to be done, and the truth is it's not us. We're facilitators, getting citizens involved, getting small businesses. Small businesses have a critical, critical role. When we see more small businesses like the folks you, you have on your show, like we were talking about before, the nail businesses, they come aboard, they develop uh, a local the clientele, they contribute to a local economy, that money stays within the community, right? Mm -hmm. And they make sure that they're in place. And, and we did some studying of small businesses that had been affected by um, COVID and then, I mean, first Hurricane Dorian and then COVID. And we found that if you start to incubate these small businesses and you get them to about three years old, maybe a couple of staff, they well, they will be able to survive external shocks like hurricanes and storms and economic issues. We need lots more of those things going on. So getting access to information is crucial for them so that they can shape the right bids, the right business plans. They can understand the environment and know when to take risks of their money and their time. When they start to flourish, communities start to flourish. And think about the implications for our, our family islands yeah. or our underserved yeah. communities. Those local businesses are the hearts and the souls of those communities. My Man, I want to thank you so very kindly for being able to be with us. Ladies and gentlemen, that is the executive director, Matthew Aubrey, being able to bring us information for the Organization for Responsible Governance and talking to us about today, which is the International Day of Access to Information, Freedom of Information, and how you can get involved.
check them out. ORG Bahamas and LinkedIn, Facebook, uh, Instagram, Twitter, or you can give them a call at 477 3144. My brother, thank you so kindly. Thank you. We're going to take a quick commercial break and be right back after this. Foundation. Foundation. The 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 foundation. We'll be back right after this. The foundation. The foundation. If you test positive for dengue fever, you should follow your doctor's instructions. Get plenty of rest and stay hydrated. Keep yourself protected from mosquito bites by using mosquito nets, repellent, and wearing proper clothing. Use Panadol or Tylenol to control fever and pains. Do not take aspirin or ibuprofen. Monitor your symptoms and seek further medical help if they worsen. Call the Dengue Fever Hotline from Monday through Friday between 8 a.m. and 8 p.m. at 802-1143 or 814-4015 for assistance. This message is brought to you by the Ministry of Health and Wellness. Tired of banks forcing you to use technology to bank the way they want you to? Your convenience is important. So no matter what your banking needs, Commonwealth Bank's friendly staff are always available in branch for that personal one-on-one service. But when you choose technology, our online and mobile banking app offers you state-of-the-art functionality. The choice is yours. Commonwealth Bank. Bank the way you want. This is Guardian Radio 96.9 FM. Fresh news, smart talk, all day. Foundation. Foundation. The 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 foundation. And we are back, ladies and gentlemen, 96.9 FM radio. Howard Grant and your company today was Ram Stuck. Uh, with great conversations, great, decent people. Ross at the top of the hour talking about the queen treatment. Then we got Bishop Lawrence Rule to talk to us about the blessings of the Lord is reigning concert. That's going to be held October 8th. We had Matt Aubrey just now. Being able to talk to us more specifically about what ORG is doing, the freedom of information, and now we have none other than direct marketers in the studio. My brother, this is none other than Ian Thomas talking to us all the way from direct marketers. What you got on the table today, my brother? Say good afternoon to the people out there. What's going on? <laughs> Pull it my close to you, Mark. I can't hear you. What's happening with you? Man, everything good, man, Howard. Good afternoon, Bahamas. This is Ian Thomas from Direct Marketers. Direct Marketers, of course, is a marketing company where we specialize in radio, TV, print, social media, and e-blast. So if you have a business or a business idea and you want to know how viable it is, please feel free to give me a call at 552-0212. That's 552-0212. Again. 552-0212. Man, you got this down Yeah, pack, but man. I don't know what you're doing. It, you you got to always hit the rhythm. Man, listen. I'm not going to fight you. Go ahead. I know, man. Hey, listen, Howard. First of all, I, my sense my time is limited. I got to jump straight into this. I want to remind everybody, listen, if you're renovating, if you're doing anything, if you hit me on the radio, don't call. That's what I remind people. I'm on the radio right now. I'll call you back. Okay, good. So we just did that. So if you're renovating or um, you have an Airbnb or you have a business or a home and you want to spruce it up, you want to call SHSS Electrical. Their phone number is 605 
605-777-777. So that's all sevens. Um, SHSS Electrical is overstocked right now, and that means you win. They have so much inventory, and um, you know they have no room to put it, so they are practically selling it at U.S. prices. I got two clients I'm talking about today who just like that. Uh, and so this is a great time to take advantage of all this stuff uh, that um, that they have to offer. Uh, you probably already know that SHSS Electrical moved from their previous location, which was on Mackey Street out of the Henry F. Store building. They're no longer there. If you want them, they're right down the road at their new location on Chesapeake Road in the former Minute Muffler Building. That's SHSS Electrical because they offer a wide range of electrical supplies um, for your home or business, like I said, including Square D products. You can get switches, combos, breakers, breaker panels, uh, electrical wires. You can get meter cans, those LED bulbs. That's going to save you tons of money. Um, so many styles of decorative ceiling fans, like I talk about all the time. They got light fixtures with outdoor motion sensors by all the brands you trust. They got those Dust to Dawn security lights with motion sensors, and they come with the LED bulbs. And that's what everybody likes. Yeah. Um, I sent um, two of my clients there last week, and they were very, very pleased. SHSS. Uh, SHSS. Yeah. Where they located? You're absolutely right. They're on Chesapeake Road, okay, right off you, of yes. Chesapeake Road. Chesapeake Road, right off of. Maki right off Street. of Maki Street. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. And if you spend fifty dollars or more, how much did they give you off? Forty-five. Ten percent. Oh, no, For, oh. no, forty-five dollars. That's a little bit. They give you ten percent off. <laughs> that's only five dollars. That's, that's more money. I than thought it was going to give me forty-five dollars no, off. I spent fifty. They, you spent forty. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> You spend $50 to get 10% off, man. So protect your family at night with those Dust to Dawn security lights. Um, Howard, I was supposed to be making money. Yeah, I'm serious. I'm serious. <laughs> Waking for Howard. Change, if you're changing or upgrading your lights in or around your home, um, that can make a tremendous difference, like Howard always talked about. And, um, you know, when people come by your house, they'll definitely uh, notice the, dif the difference. Um, experienced electricians, they only tell their clients they're going to SHSS Electrical. Don't go to those other places, ladies and gentlemen. You know what I'm talking about. Those other places in Palmdale or may it be out Kamaika Road. You don't want to go there. You want to go to SHSS Electrical. I'm going to do something special for somebody who goes there this weekend. Go there. Check out the ceiling fans. Check out all those light fixtures. I mean. The people need to see the fan. They don't want, they don't want to admit it. Uh -huh. But their ceiling fan already kind of, you know. Like caving in. Like, it caving yeah, in. Caving like, in. It ain't look like a ceiling fan And no it probably's more. not even blowing that. It that look like cool a, a circle. It coming. Yeah. Yeah, man. You got to go there. arms update. touching. Update. Your fan. Update. update. Man, the store family is doing an incredible job. And like I always say, everybody, uh, I don't know, maybe over the age of 30 knows that the, uh, that, that store, that last name is synonymous with being number one in the electrical business. So I get all my wires SHSS. and anything, SHSS, I love it. They're right there on, uh, off of Mackey Street on Chesapeake Road. The phone number, I'll give you two phone numbers, 605-7777. Good. Or 605-7477. So that's a great, great thing to know about. Um, brand new client uh, I'm start working along, along with, and use some good information for you or anybody who has a business. Um, Bloom Financial Advisors. Mm -mm. Bloom Financial Advisors. These guys offer bookkeeping, accounting, marketing, create business plans. So right now you can take advantage of free accounting uh, 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 services right now for contractors. So if you're a contractor out there, if you know a contractor, your dad. Uh, well, even a, even a female contractor, your mom, uh, This is somebody. crucial for small business right now. For all small businesses. And let's be very clear about this. Yes, A accounting. lot of small businesses who want to expand, uh, trying to be able to tap into your contingency, you've already got your money for a couple of years, you have been horrible at your book, bookkeeping. You try to go to the bank to get something, the bank say, wow. let's see your records, you're so wow. forth and so on, you haven't kept your records wow. well, now you got to go ask your cousin for money and try to see if you can sell one of your children. You need to stop. Find out how we can do this. <clears> I'd like to hear this is brand new. Yeah. Yes, mm -hmm. so they have limited spaces right now for contractors right now. They have 10 spaces available. Contractors are calling them like crazy right now, but they have 10 spaces available. This is free accounting going on right now. Having um, uh, After have years of having such great relationships with so many contractors, they've learned that the, on that the only, um, the, they've learned that the only way that they can get everything 
in order is by um, is having, like I said, proper accounting. And um, uh, they can, and, and with this being done, contractors are able to manage bigger contracts and cater to high value clients. Because, you know, when you're not doing things properly, people don't take you, you seriously. You get the budget that you expect if you don't have the proper structure. Let's be very clear about that. If you need $10 million and unable to organize $100,000, you are not going to do that. All these things are identified in your proposal when you present for wow. a tender to be able to move towards these things. I, 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 I told the, uh, the owners of the company, I said, you know what, Howard is very passionate about this because he loves to tell people, you know, the importance of having your business done properly. And even when I come on a lot of times, I said, you know, business is difficult, but it can also be very easy. The most important thing you need is marketing and accounting. You need marketing to get the word out there. You need accounting to know if you're making or you're losing and any money. And within business also, you need to conserve your cash. Definitely. So oh, I'm going to go ahead and talk about that <laughs> in a little bit. And if, <laughs> if you're a company <laughs> right now, you're having <laughs> issues collecting outstanding monies, there's no quicker and better way to start receiving all your money on those debt by calling Bloom, um, Bloom Financial um, Advisors. I feel uh, like you keep trying to say Bloomberg. No, I know. You know, you, yeah, no, that's in your mind. Bloom Financial yeah, Advisors. Yeah, yeah. I say BFA. Mm -hmm. Bloom Financial Advisors Services. Uh, the moment Bloom Financial enters your business, their main goal is to partner with your management in garnering um, the best results possible for that organization. This is done by providing them with um, exceptional accounting and consulting services. Um, Bloom Financial Advisors realizes that um, statistics show that 90% of all businesses fail due to poor financial management. So they want you to change the mindset that you've been um, um, continuing to use for such a long time. Don't be afraid to allow your company to do incredible things. And they can show you how your business can make that kind of money and that it should be making that kind of money. So Bloom Financial Advisors, once again, they can turn any small or medium-sized business into a big business in a short period of time. My God. Many companies that are drowning in, in the red high uh, and have high unexplainable debt, they have done a complete 180 in just a few short months, once they've introduced Bloom Financial Advisors. I like this. Yeah, definitely. Uh, they help strategize um, with management um, to, to see the proper way to go about things and which uh, which which um, uh, uh, areas need uh, more, more uh, attention. And if your company is begging for um, expert consultation and accounting and bookkeeping and biz and um, and you need these things. things, you need to give them a call. Remember, people they do don't know that they planning. need these things until. They until they need it. They until they need it. Definitely. But definitely, you need these things. Definitely, definitely. If you're looking to expand, you can't sell uh, clothes at your back trunk forever. No. People keep calling you. Your order's increasing. Your capacity increasing. I can say this right now. I've mm -hmm. called someone for a laptop. I need a laptop before I head off to uh, China so I can be able to do shows and stuff like that. I Correct. Just, my mm -hmm. son destroyed their laptop. Yes. Saw these people on Marketplace. Mm -hmm. I, I've been trying to get this laptop. Now, I don't call a woman name. I've been, trying to get, I did, I've been trying to get the they're laptop joking, for a joking, week. They're joking, man. They're joking. I didn't spend the money three they times. They have. they joking. And I said, oh, I'm so sorry. If they're setting up for a party, miss. No. Now, if joking. I call your name, you ain't going to sell no laptop. Nice. <laughs> man, these guys are expert in, in consultation, accounting, bookkeeping, business planning, and individuals who need um, help and assistance. This is what you need. For VAT filing. For VAT filing. A lot of my clients had issues um, is getting need. their stuff for VAT filing. The phone number, I've, been, I've, I've gone with this long time without saying the phone number, 809-2202. 809-2202. 809-2202. Yes, you got it. Let me it. see if I can try something. Yes. Okay. And uh, if you're looking to raise capital, like Howard just said, from $100,000 to a $1 million for your venture, call Bloom Financial Advisors. They can show you how to secure funding easily. And to learn more, you want to um, hit them up at info at bahamasfinancialadvisors.com uh, and call 809-2202. So that's a great company. And especially right now for you contractors who are listening right now, get yourself together. If you uh, present yourself as a small business, people would look at you like as this. a jokey little small business. But if you come prepared with all your credentials, with all your numbers in place, like they say, the numbers don't lie, then people take you more seriously. The financial institutes take you, know you more why? seriously. You know Because this preparation and structure within your organization Definitely. prepares you almost like uh, a wall. Mm -hmm. It prepares you. It seals you in for bigger business. Wow. I like that. I, I like it, that. Yeah. So, so let someone, me, let me someone what's happening right now? I got to say that number again. 
809-209-2202. That's Bloom Financial Advisors. If you have a business, whether it's small or medium or whatever, and you want it to be turned around, maybe you're working at a company right now and you're listening to this and you said, you know what? My boss, my employer need this type of stuff because we ran here. We're still doing things like back in the 80s and everything. Mm -hmm. Tell them, Mr. Johnson, Mr. Whoever, please give these guys a call. I he think they can Johnson? help. I, I, I think don't think he has to be a Johnson. I don't think he has to be a Johnson. He could be a Cumberbatch. I feel like he's a role. He's a reason he's a role? I think he's a role. I think he's a role. Okay. Mr. Rule. Mr. Rule. Okay, go ahead. Dial 809-2202. Watch your business um, prosper and flourish. I got it can be better. turned around let me ASAP. Let, go ahead. let me do it. Let me do it. Let me do it. Mm -hmm. Spring into action. Yes. Watch your business blossom mm -hmm. with bloom. Wow! Excuse me, watch it. You get me. Listen, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hey, listen. That's All a lot right. of play on words right there. Yeah, man. I see. Got to play spring, spring in action. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. So spring into action. Yes. Watch your business blossom. Uh huh. With Bloom, what they came? Bloom Advisory. Yeah, no. Bloom, Bloom. Financial ah. Advisors. You yeah, they got to pay me for that. Yeah, I tell I, we're going to go with that. Bloom Financial Advisors. Yeah, no, no, you got, got it. For that. Yeah, BFA, man. Go ahead and check them out. Uh, remember, still give me a call. Ian Thomas, Direct Marketers, 552-0212, 552-0212. For any of these companies that you say, you know what, I didn't get that number, but Ian, I want the number for Bloom, I'm going to give it to you. Now, let's get on to this frosty. Boy, it was outside. That was so hot right now before I come inside the studio. Um, if you're hot at your home or your business, I want you to call Frosty's HVAC Alternates. Their phone number is 809-6279. 809-6279. I even give you the man's cell number. 431-9189. 431-9189. That's Mr. Williams. He's been my client now for ooh, almost about two years now. We've been doing incredible What's things. What's the number? 809-809-6279. Now, I was first introduced to Frosty's when my split system unit was acting up. I brought it um, in at least like three, I brought like three other um, air conditioning companies in who could not remedy the issue. A client told me about um, Frosty's HVAC. I dialed 809-6279. From the day that uh, I first met Frosty, uh, I haven't had a single issue with um, with anything to do with my with my system, they come by and they clean it. They got me on a on a regular. They come by and they clean it. And I've um, talked to a, a countless of people, and I recommend Frosty to them. And they're also happy that I I turned them on to um, such a wonderful company. Now these guys know the science and the proper uh, uh, installation and repairs of all air conditioning systems. That's what I like about extremely knowledgeable young Bahamian company. Um, they've got uh, if you've got a home or a business or uh, um, Airbnb or apartment, no matter what you have, you have a central air system or a split system, and it's giving you problems, dial 809-6279. Mr. Williams and his crew at Frosty's are professionals, like I say, and they will guarantee that your system will begin percolating like new. They've been um, servicing my air condition. You got that's someone calling the name. They've been um, servicing my air condition unit for the past six, uh, no, more than six months now. Uh, the new one that I got, they've been working on for six months, but they've been working on with me for longer than that. And I'm extremely happy uh, with the service. People don't realize how dirty their AC is, Howard. The, your air conditioning get extremely dirty, just wasting electricity while the air conditioning's not running efficiently. And so you that need means, to clean that if you got asthmatic children, mm, if you got pets, I was just you got this, these things. Wow. You got to do that decently. How would you jump the gun, boy? Yeah, you got to get that air, you got to get that system clean yeah. and blowing cool like it should be. Um, there's so much dirt, it could be built up over months. Some people even have to get the air conditioning clean in years. That could potentially be causing your loved one's health issues, especially, like Howard said, the elderly and those little um, kids in the in the home or wherever you are, especially if you have a business and, and you have those um, 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 those age categories coming to your business. Uh, last week, they took out um, one of my clients' old motors, stripped down the wires, attached a new motor, reassembled it, and just for, for preventative measures, they went ahead and cleaned out the blowers. These guys are no joke, Howard. Now, my clients, he's so happy and says that their unit is operating like about 100% at 100% right now. I've got great news right, right now. Frosty has just opened up two new offices in Grand Bahama and Abaco. So those living on both of those islands, now you guys don't have to worry about flying them in. These guys are right there located on the ground. That's Frosty's uh, HVAC Alternates. Their phone number is 809-6279, 809-6279. If you want to speak to the boss um, directly, call him at 431-9189, 431-9189. Call them, 
number one in air condition installation and repairs. That's Mr. Williams. One last time, 809-6279 or 431-9189. Man, hey, I love um, working along with them. Now, um, I haven't spoken about Everything Home for a long time. Everything Home, do you know where they're located? They're located on Yamakura Road. You know where Yamakura Road is? I don't go all the way out these. You're okay then. Yamakura Road. Only when me and my wife having Kong Salad. Yeah. And she won't talk long. Well, there ain't much Kong Salad out that way, but... No, no, no. We used to go more to and take long oh, Okay, okay, take okay. Long long well, everything home, um, you've never seen discounts and savings like this going on right now. They Yamakura have, Road. Yamakura Road is, um, how do I say, opposite Elizabeth Estates. I know. On the back road there. On the back road there. It's just west of budget. Close to Palm Key area. Very oh. good. But it's west of that. And it's opposite Zion Baptist Yamakura. You know Zion Baptist Yamakura? Yes, I know it is. Okay, then. That's where it is. So right now, huge comforters, spreads, cushions, and all household miscellaneous. Everything home. All piled up. This is at everything home. Everything It's home. all piled up to the ceiling right now. You can get up to 30 to 50% off. That's unbelievable. They got Facebook page and things? You can go check them out on Facebook. But this is what I'm trying to tell you. This is how serious it is. They want you to bring your truck because everything that they have there is going to be at U.S. prices. And this is starting I got truck. today. Let's be very clear. And they're using this until everything is gone. Okay. Everything is gone. Listen to this now. So bring your truck. Everything has U.S. prices. You can purchase Everybody ain't got truck. Just take the things just, like about yeah, truck. Just carry, yeah, carry everything. Tell your truck. people to meet you there. It's right there, opposite Zion Baptist Yamakura Church, just west of Budget, right opposite Elizabeth Estates. That's where you need so you to go. So you got your sheet. Listen, you got all your sheets set and all them. Listen, you got a sheet I want to tell you this right okay, now. Let me hear it. So you can purchase in bulk. The prices are so low that individuals have been going there, buying their stuff, and reselling it to other companies or selling it online and making a profit. Almost everything is at wholesale prices. These guys have over $50,000 worth of merchandise like I said, and they're running out of space. Why? Because they ordered early and they have too, too much space. So take advantage of this overstock issue. It's incredible, incredible savings going on now, especially for those remodeling your homes or your businesses. And once again, those individuals updating their apartments or Airbnbs. You guys don't want to miss it. Don't go to the malls. Don't go in Palmdale. Don't go to Camichael Road. Bring $100 and see how much stuff you can leave with. They accept cash and credit card. And some lucky person, Howard's going to buy them a set of towel or dishes or bed linen. Is that okay, Howard? Are you spending your money? You can spend my money. Okay, that's good. It's Thanks. Fine. Howard says it's okay. You can spend my money. I don't have no money. <laughs> it's a married man. Everything home. <laughs> Everything my home money. is having this humongous sale going on right now. Like I said, it's Yamaka Road opposite Zion Baptist Church, just west of budget, opposite Elizabeth Estates. So if you live in Nassau East, Winton, Colony Village, San Susie, or in Twynham, Fox Hill, Camp Road, or Seabreeze, you guys are going to get an automatic discount. Or if you live Blue Hill Road, East Street, South Beach, Golden Gates, Pinewood, Camichael Road, or Garden Hills, since you guys have always been big supporters of everything home, you guys get an extra set of discounts. Next weekend... Well, I live in Yamakura. Well, you, li you live in uh, you, you Yamakura. You look like a Yamakura, uh, Yamakura Road in type person. Now, next weekend, they're going to bring out all the Christmas decorations, and they're going to be discounting them. Everything's going to be happening from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m., Every day while supplies last. Yamakura so Road. Every day. Every Everything day. Everything home. Everything home. U.S. prices. U.S. prices. Bring your truck. Bring your truck to buy in bulk. trunk empty. Back trunk empty. Check them out on Facebook. Check them out. Comforters, spreads, cushions. What kind of count? You, you ain't tell me about the count. Look here, I don't want to sleep on them little tin No, shoes. fluffy. Mm, feel good. Listen to me as a decent man. Yes. I want to roll around and say... Well, maybe that's why you buy paper. To put no, up. no. Good, decent, good, good Those coke. bed in the bag type things. They got those towels and those dish sets, all these different stuff. She says, Ian, make sure let them know. I the try to buy the thing. The spreads, the cushions, all those stuff. I do my best to try and buy some of the sheets and whatnot. I don't bother with the comforter. That's my wife area. Uh -huh. But my God, you can't have me wrap up in pink no. and laying on pink no, too. No, no, Maybe no, no, stop. no, 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 no. So listen, they got all the variety in the world. This. No, all the variety in the world. Praise Their God. phone number is 424 Because my wife got me sleeping on four two four. You ain't even writing this number down, man. 424 four, four, two, four, four, okay, four, four, two, four, four, four. I want you to call, but I want you to go there and say, Listen, 16, I hear this man bragging with y'all and y'all prices on Howard's show. I come and I can reverse Let the truck in the air. I'm telling you, 
the the place is I need jam comfortable packed. right now. They have fifty thousand dollars worth of merchandise that they don't have no more room for. They sell all to- people take advantage of this. Or only come for this. They got the comfort is everything to put inside there. Everything for your home. They okay. everything to decorate to make it look good to spruce it up. Mm-hmm. You got an Airbnb. People are always calling me. They need this so for Airbnb. Towel too. They got towels you can't and find stuff towels like that. Around here. They got nice towel, towel hand, set, face and, towel, and, yes, hand towel, yeah, and, and bath towel, towel. bathing towel, bathing towel. People come by me, they ask me for bathing towel. I was like, yeah, oh know, the God. Towel I was like, what's a bathing towel? <laughs> that's a, so that's a bathing towel. They got everything. Everything home, 424 1623. You don't want to miss it. Go every day until everything's sold out. But oh, a lot of my friends them say they're going tomorrow and Saturday. They're going tomorrow and Saturday. Don't be left out. Don't let them people come and carry um, all the good stuff. Uh, I have people coming in from the family island and all. And Yamakura the ship in the family Road. Island. Yes. Yamakura Road. To, so if you get on a long drive, come there. Or if you're out from there. From 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. you live out east. Yes, you live out east. Because you know that's where the thick of the traffic yes. is. Yes, Right. It's so if you live it. out west, uh-huh. you got to be able to detour today. Yes. You got to go out west, out, yes. out east and be able to pick up these things. That's everything home, 4, 2, Christmas 4, time 16, coming. 23. Next week, they're bringing out all the Christmas decorations. Your so you guys, couldn't come don't over. go to that mall. Don't Watch go me. no places. These people's prices can be way lower than that. Nobody family could have visited them for years I mean, because of COVID. Mm-hmm. Now your family coming over. Don't let them try to, well, this is the same towel you had last time. <laughs> And I'll stand up for everything. Jesus, Junior, why your towel got a hole in it? I just just wipe with the next spot. Yeah, no. uh, yeah, yeah. Go buy it out. Listen, go there, check them out, and you'll have yourself a wonderful time. Go now, in the Benicious- Margaret, them towel. <laughs> I will go bleach up and <laughs> give me the towel. You ever been my people as like, Don't say that towel. Towel. will come by me and look at ah? see if I have these things. Man, you need to go to everything home. I need to go to everything home. I okay. get in there Saturday. I will I go in there tomorrow. And I have to go back there Saturday too because um some some people are coming in to see me some uh, companies that are coming in don't bear by these people out so uh, some companies coming in that come in to buy from them they won't give to you the soap sell back to when you. there's use in the tub yes uh, I, I tell people soap, don't the get soap. Dirty. you look at the soap and says hold on wait <laughs> this here too straight this here. <laughs> Ah, what kind of hair this is? Don't don't listen how yeah, don't go, don't buy ba- don't go baby people's soap when you go baby. No, that. you don't bear with people's soap. Anyway, but you try to give me that with a bleach out towel. Go to everything home. That's why when guests okay, come by me, go. they I give them a towel and I give them a, a bottle of joy. Really? Yes, it's all purpose. They really? Wash their body and hair. Yeah, really? Anyway, look here. For those people who have water coolers at home or in your business, <laughs> and you're trying to find those replacement valves, that or some of them might be inoperable right now. You only you got can, ten minutes to do it. Hurry up, let's go. You could get a water dispenser valve. You know those little ones which be on the on the on the water dispenser, the little blue and yellow and yeah, red yeah, yeah, ones, yeah, yeah. which you flick. A lot of them go bad. People don't know where to buy them from. Give me a call, Ian Thomas, Direct Marketers. I'm going to turn you on. They have the they have them for nine ninety nine each. That's a great price. Get those. Because I know you have a home or your office or in your in your in your, in your company. And five and water, five gallon bucket yeah, in their head. They are only nine ninety five. You almost nine water board yourself. Yes. And and give me a call five five two zero two one two. I'm gonna hook you up with that. If you know, um, people are asking me about the Amazon Echo Dot, which is Alexa. I love my Alexa. I use it for everything. Alexa, what time it is? Alexa, set a timer for twenty minutes. I'm putting on something in the oven. Alexa, play Jeopardy. Alexa, put on some music. I love using Alexa. Alexa turns on my television. Alexa turns on my light for me. Everything. You want an Alexa? Give me a call, 5520212. Alexa is only $55. That's a great price. And you could hook it up. It gives you music and timers. Uh, it can make your home smart. It gives you all the information. Alexa, what's the square what root of this? Your all these different stuff. What does yeah, it do for great. your churn? It has an It make your system. home smart, but, but it can help your churn. It can help your churn too. Trust me. Alexa, tell these churn, behave their skin. My God. <laughs> Alexa, turn off. Let me slap to it, though. Hey, Howard, you ever drive around and maybe your laptop or something is going dead in your car and you say, wow, I wish I had something to go ahead and power um, and power up my um, uh, uh, my laptop or something? You, you know, when you, you wish you had a, a plug? You can go ahead and get yourself I got a big boy an truck, inverter. Sir. An I, inverter. I, I got a big boy truck, sir. My truck come. With the little electrical situation. Oh, you got one of those. Because okay, I'm decent. Praise God. Individuals who are not like Howard, uh, Howard who has the power. But that's only one. My little car need a little inverter. Listen, imagine your car has a power outlet that you can plug in your laptop, you your take cell a break phone. In. You I take gotta, a break? I got to take a quick okay, break and then we can get back with your okay, last good, two things, good, right? Good, good, good. Okay, let me take a quick break and get right back after this. Mm-hmm. 
foundation. At Popeyes, get the chicken sandwich you love, but make it blackened. Marinated in Popeyes blackened seasoning, that is. Our new juicy filet is fried to perfection without the breading. Served on a toasted brioche bun. Try it today as a combo or a la carte. Don't forget to choose your level of spice today at any one of our three locations. Love that chicken from Popeyes. We've been with you from the very start. Leading the way and providing you with the best in primetime sporting experiences. From one goal to the next, you can count on us for full access to the best sports channels at home or on the go. Make Rev your only choice. Visit Rev.bs. Every match, every game, every moment. Rev, your home for sports. America completely run out of it. You've tried everything. Asus with your mother's cousin's sister's auntie and even hiding your money under your mattress. But is your money safe? Your Bahamian dollar deposit in a member bank or credit union is insured up to $50,000. If anything happens, your deposit up to the insured value will be returned to you thanks to Deposit Insurance. Visit Deposit Insurance Corporation at www.dic.bf. Protection for your money. Guaranteed with DIC. At Ron's Electric Motors, they repair and rewind all major brands of electric motors, including water pumps, generators, and the generator's back end, welding machines, electric lifts, air compressors, battery chargers, and more. They equipped to handle up to 850 kilowatts and rewind up to 450 horsepower motors. They're conveniently located on the corner of Wolf and Clarence Roads and are open weekdays, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Saturdays till noon. They offer 24 hours emergency assistance. You can reach them at 242-356-0249. This is Guardian Radio 96.9 FM. Fresh news, smart talk, all day. Foundation. Foundation. And we're back, we're back, we're back. Ladies and gentlemen, 96.9 FM Radio. Howard Grant Ian's in the house with us. We got a couple minutes. I know how much more people you got to get up, but let's get them out. Yeah, man. Um, Someone just hit me right now. They said, I need for you to tell me the price right now on your whole house surge protector. If you're tired of um, um, the power company, boom, coming in your house with all that serious electricity, Last give night. me a call. I'm going to give you a surge, get you a surge protector. Power outages can be can go, can go cause blown electronics and appliances or even house fires. Don't leave your valuables and, and um, don't leave your valuables vulnerable. That's a double V. Uh, get a whole house surge protector today. Regulate the voltage coming into your building from the power company. Now on sale for only $139. Give me a call, 5520212. 5520212. I give you a whole house surge protector. Um, somebody else is asking me, what's the price for the um, uh, generators? Stop suffering when electricity goes out. You can order yourself a standby generator made by Generac, uh, a brand that you know and love. You can get a 7.5 kW generator for 4495 a 14 kW for 6495 and a 22 kW generator for only 7995 Not just here in Nassau, you family island People, once you order, we ship straight to the island. Um, it's powered by propane. It's sold with the transfer switch. You give me a call, 5520212. The only thing you need after that is a battery. Uh, we can turn you on to an installer, a certified Generac installer. And he can, when he hooks you up, he's going to give you a free battery with your um, with your system. Now, we said every home should have a blood pressure monitor to, to know your vitals. You want a blood pressure monitor? You can get one right now for $65. No matter your age or your body size, you need to know your vitals. The blood pressure monitor that I'm talking about is rechargeable, no batteries. It's voice um, broadcast, so in case you not have your glasses on, you can't read, it'll talk to you and tell you what it is. And it's FDA certified. So you want that? Give me a call, 5520212, 5520212. It's only $65 and get yourself a blood pressure monitor. And lastly, before I go, looking at the time, I got two minutes, I think. Um, Samson privacy screen. If you've got a chain link fence, tired of people looking into your yard while you um, have your clothes on the line or you might be doing some construction walking your or you're walking around in your boxes or your briefs or your G's, um, you can go ahead and um, you can get yourself a... <laughs> 
I don't think she should be in there. Y'all think that. What are you doing? You can get yourself the privacy God screen. Goddamn, baby. Mama. It's 50 feet long, six feet tall. You put it on your fence. No one can see in your yard. It's only $189. You can get the straps for only, 90, no, for only nine bucks. Get it today. Samson Privacy Screen Fence. Get it today. It's ideal for your yard to keep your whole life private. $189. If you need installation, $35, give me a call, Ian Thomas. It comes in that dark army green. People can't see through. 552-0212, 552-0212, and that allows nobody to look into your yard. How would I say you get one minute to go? Let you ain't got no one minute? One minute? No. Man, yes, man. No, I we ain't got no one I minute. Take people one minute away. No, no we ain't got Ladies one and gentlemen, minute. thank you so much for this opportunity for me to be here with Howard today on Guardian Talk Radio. I love coming here to 96.9 FM with Howard and the Foundation. Remember, anything I spoke about today, please feel free to give me a call. Ian Thomas, Direct Marketers, 552-0212, 552-0212. Mama, why are you in the yard and you're busy? I, I got it, baby. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> hey, Howard, tell that person where everything home is. Yeah, they are Oh, okay. Yamakura Road. Yamakura yeah. Road, opposite Zion Baptist Church. Yamakura Road. I go in there. Baptist. Everything on sale. Guys, have a beautiful day. Tomorrow we're getting into some more politics. I guess some numbers here, some names here, uh, and pr- uh, prospects. For West Grand Bahama, we can chop this thing down tomorrow, live and in full effect, right here on the foundation. I thank you so much for tuning in today. It's Small Business Thursday. If you want to be able to be a part of that, please give me a call, 827-0111, as we continue to talk about your business, because your business is our business. We're going to make this thing happen together. Have a beautiful day, ladies and gentlemen. We'll see you tomorrow. God spare our lives, live and in effect, and full effect, right here on 96.9 FM Radio. Howard Grant. The foundation. The foundation. The foundation. The foundation.